Hi, I'm Scott Fajette, Product Manager for Dreamweaver. I wanted to show you a little bit today about the new multi-screen features that are available within Dreamweaver CS 5.5. For a lot of folks, their first foray into multi-screen is going to be taking an existing website or application and basically trying to make it more multi-screen aware. Um, fortunately, there's a new construct in CSS3, Media Queries, which lets us target a style sheet to specific screen resolutions. So the feature I'm going to show you now, multi-screen preview and, and the media query management, is really made for taking a, taking a site and immediately adapting it to two more uh, visual interfaces. Let's take a look at how that works. So I've got this working site here uh, that I'm working with, but I'd like to start adding in a both a phone as well as a tablet-specific interface. There's some things we can see when we look at it here. It's a, it's a three-column, pretty wide layout, so it probably won't look too good on a phone. Uh, for a tablet, you know, there's probably a little bit of ways that we can maybe make the content a little bit more appropriate. But first place that starts is we need to at least break these interfaces a piece and start working on them individually. So let's take a look at how you do that. Um, there's the big multi-screen button uh, in Dreamweaver CS 5.5. When you hit that, you're presented with the multi-screen preview. Now this has three panes in it, which give you a really quick peek at, at a phone resolution, tablet resolution, and a desktop resolution. And what we're going to do, even though these are all technically using the same assets right now, we're looking at the same site in three different window sizes, is click the Media Query buttons to actually define how this interface changes based on uh, the alternate devices. So first up, um, in this case, I'm just going to write my CSS3 Media Queries to this particular document because I'm just working on a demo. but if I was working on a larger site, I might want to write it to a site-wide file. And what that does is it gives me the ability to save these preset resolutions and reuse them in different files. So if you're working on a bunch of pages, this will be very handy for managing that. The next checkbox is one that's handy for more modern uh, smartphones in particular, where zooming and scaling is often done to sort of crunch a real web page into the resolution that you have at hand. By this, what we're saying is since it's going to be a mobile-specific interface, force the devices to report their actual width and not just zoom scale things down. So this way, you'll actually be able to target a very specific interface to all of these devices. And from there, it's just a matter of picking the ones you want to support and adding them in here. Now we're going to take the default presets, which gives me very quickly a phone, tablet, and desktop resolution. Now I'm going to make some changes because I'm working towards an Android device that has a slightly wider resolution. So starting with phone, what we'll do is say you can choose either a minimum width or a max maximum width for this. In this case, it's the smallest form factor we're going to support. So we want a maximum width of 400 pixels. And instead of creating a new file, I've already started creating a few mobile-specific style sheets, and we just want to add them in. But I could create a new file and just get starting from scratch there. Go ahead and choose this, and I'm going to pick my mobile.css. Go ahead and add that there. Now, over here on tablet, let's come down and kind of change that a little bit. Since we have 400, let's go to 401 pixels and a maximum of 800 pixels. And we're going to do the same thing. Choose a, a tablet file that we've got started here at the bottom and choose that. And then finally, desktop. Since we're already at 800 uh, pixels for a tablet, we need to go to 800, 801 minimum width. So anything larger than 801 pixels is going to get this final style sheet. And that, of course, is the main CSS that we're, we've already been using. So once I've attached all these, now we've effectively set Dreamweaver up to, based on screen size, deliver different CSS to each of these form factors. And when I click this into place, you'll see we just snapped in, and a few things are immediately apparent. Uh, navigation is getting stacked vertically, so it's much more appropriate to a phone that's, that has a much narrower resolution. The tablet has a much more streamlined layout that uses full advantage of the width to, to get that video element in HTML5, big, wide, and front and center, as opposed to just one of the three columns down here in the desktop. But also, we've, we've got a couple of more things here. Um, you know, you do a lot of scrolling on a tablet. You may not want to show a big, long column for each of these if you're stacking them top to top. So we've got a little button that kind of concatenates this makes it a little bit smaller. When we click this, it'll open up. As you can see, we've very quickly added style sheets that let us do all of this individually, but based off the same HTML file. And this is the critical point. With Dreamweaver CS 5.5, as you start moving into multi-screen, we're not asking you to learn a bunch of new skills. We're just asking you to maybe take those skills you've, used, you've learned over the years and extend them in a different way. By using the multi-screen preview panel, you can now use all those skills to quickly build a very mobile-specific interface for your site in a matter of minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the multi-screen preview panel in Dreamweaver CS 5.5. If you'd like to learn more about mobile development, HTML5, and Dreamweaver in general, please stop by the Adobe Developer Center and learn more. Thanks for watching.